And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Rozo's Gaming Headquarters, who writes, <clears throat> I'm like you. I'm thinking Frozen 2 is going to join the Billion Dollar Club. And this is a promising start towards that goal. As of Sunday morning, which is when I am writing this question to you, according to Deadline, we are sitting at $130 million, uh, mil $130 million, which is bigger than Frozen 1. It's significantly bigger than Frozen 1's opening weekend, by the way, uh, which brought in uh, $93.9 million over the five-day holiday weekend. Yes, but it was a much smaller actual opening weekend. It, it, you don't actually count the five-day weekends, but at any rate. Is this a great sign that Frozen 2 will join Endgame, Aladdin, Toy Story 4, The Lion King, and Captain Marvel in the Billion Dollar Club? All right, thanks a lot for sending in the question. And yes, Frozen 2 has now opened in theaters. I saw it over a week ago. I really liked it. I thought it was really, really charming. Um, and I even think the music in it is better than the music in the first one, notwithstanding Let It Go. That That's separate. But I thought it was really great. But yeah, this weekend it waltzed into the theaters and it crushed and it did significantly better on its opening weekend than Frozen 1 did, and Frozen 1 went on to be in the Billion Dollar Club. Here's what we got. Frozen 2 came in the box office this weekend making $127 million, absolutely obliterating everything else. Ford v. Ferrari made a very respectable $16 million. A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, that's the Tom Hanks, which I still haven't seen. I haven't either. I, I, I think Ann and I, are gonna, we're, Ann and I are going to the LA Rams game tonight, and then I think we're going to go... Uh, maybe try to catch a movie afterwards. Go catch a late show of that because, you know, it's Tom Hanks. Uh, 21 Bridges came in at $9.3 million. Yeah, I know. Uh, I guess not everything that the Russo brothers does turns into a billion-dollar film. Anyway, Midway still hanging in there. Midway still hanging in there in the top five at $4.7 million. But, Rob, the real story here, of course, is Frozen 2. Uh, absolutely destroying Frozen 1's opening weekend box us, dominating it. Stripping it all in. Listen, and the overall basic question is, and, and like I said, I like this movie very much. Is Does this thing bode well for it? Because it's not just the domestic opening box office. It is the highest opening for any Disney uh, animated film in Chinese history as well. So it bodes. It's holding up very well internationally. It's hold, It did great domestically. Yeah, to me, I, I don't have a lot of doubt. I mean, look, anything can happen, absolutely, and it could fall short. But I'm, I'm feeling pretty good that Frozen 2 is going to join the Billion Dollar Club. How do you feel about it, Rob? Looks like that to me. I mean, you and I have always said, we've been saying for a year, that Frozen 2 is probably going to join the Billion Dollar Club. And I think it very well might. And I, I look, that's good. What I like... It's great when any movie is a success, and so many people love this franchise. It's beloved, and when you have a, when you have this kind of a beloved franchise, it's always better when the next installment's great, or that right. people love it. I'd rather live in a world where sometimes we forget. I mean, I read so much or watch so much negativity on YouTube. I think that it, we should celebrate when a movie like this does really well and people love it. Isn't that what we're going to the movies for? Yeah, and again, I think it's a really good film. I think it builds well on the last one. A lot of great music, uh, the whole bit. So, And kids are going to be bugging their parents to take them back to see this thing multiple times. And I think a lot of parents are just going to enjoy watching themselves. Question is, guys, how are you feeling about it? Now that we've seen Frozen 2 has done significantly better than Frozen 1 did on its opening weekend, are you feeling good about its chances to hit that billion dollar club? Yes or no? Why? Jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts.